This is a HeadGum Original. What is this, a new If I Were You podcast? Well, kind of. These are episodes that we're living behind our Patreon for the last five years, and we figured, why not release some of the best ones onto this feed to reward those of you that never gave up, that never unsubscribed. So please enjoy this classic episode of If I Were You, recorded at our old studio in 2018. All dancing, <laughs> yeah. We're all having a. <laughs> we're having a. It was a fun little intro. And awesome time. Thank you so much for Jeffrey. I um, feel like he didn't dance as much as us. For being here, he scowled at me. And he a bad song. <laughs> what? Well, he danced a good song. It's a great song. <laughs> it's a fine song. I just learned about Motown, so I and that made you angry at all other music. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? I what? don't know if you've taken a look at the Motown catalog. No. Huh? I haven't. Do because for me <laughs> it's a treasure trove. Okay. So this sounds like a positive thing. Of funk thing. and R and B. <laughs> right. So you found you great music. You discovered sour. Motown. Yeah, Congrats. but to hear that, yeah, garbage. It's just different. It's not better or worse You're than so Motown. You're so bad if you discover music that you like <laughs> and it makes you angry. Look your at your eyebrows. eyebrows. Well, I'm not. A, I'm. I'm upset. Yeah. And it make a <laughs> sorry make a Motown theme song, then That's... I'll smile. <laughs> So for the next half hour or so, you're <laughs> going to be sour until we come up with a Motown theme, theme song? song. Okay, uh, how about, ooh, bop, oh, if I were you, bop, yeah, if I were you, it starts right now. How do you think that's good? Why are you smiling? Like that <laughs> was perfect. Motown, Motown, Motown. holiday, you. <laughs> I rock on, baby mother, till I have a question, and I answer the email for now. <laughs> it sounds like I... you like old hip hop, <laughs> not Motown. Would you say that's safe to say? Uh, if that put him in a good mood for some reason, <laughs> let's roll with it. <laughs> All right, fine. Starting now, we're having a good time. Uh, I thought it would be fun to play an icebreaker game to get us warmed up, get I us into that. the spirit. It's kind of like that. Uh, word association game we played that one time. Yeah. Except this time it'll be, I'm going to say one, two, three, and then we all say either the number one or the number two. If we all say the same number, we're on the same page. Wow. All right, okay. ready? Yeah. This is an icebreaker? This is an icebreaker. This is so really we get to know each breaker. other. <laughs> ready? This is a different kind of, yeah. Okay. One, two, three, one. Two. One, two, nice. three, two. Oh, we're keep up playing? Oh, keep going until we're all the same. All right. one. I like being on the same page as Jeff. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, two. one. One two three two. One two three two. One two three two. One two three two. One. One two three two. All right, we got there. All right, now the system. We like tried. I tried to cheat, and I was just like gonna fuck. Yeah, I was gonna steamroll two until you guys. Whoever's the most stubborn. All right, now let's play. We can say one, two, or three. Okay. Okay. And I won't be stubborn. I may be fucking freewheeling this. All right, ready. One two three two. One two three two. One two three three. One two three one. One two three one. One two three two. One two three one. One two. We haven't hit it yet. At random, you're supposed to get this like once in every nine. One two three three. One two three three. One two three one. One two three two. Oh, we got it. Me and Jeffrey have said the same one for like nine times. I'm not gonna fucking play the game, man. I'm not gonna say three just because you guys have established we're going for three. We got to get it right by chance. This is that's the magic. That's the sauce. It's such a thin premise for a game is just a rule it's such a bad game but i'm having the most fun i've had today one and this two is the three third. two no one, i'm not two, playing three, anymore three i don't want to do it all right how about one through ten let's try to really get it this time wow. okay we could say any number one through ten okay okay one two three seven. One two three seven. One two three eight. <laughs> we cheat. If we had we a strategy, cheat. we could get it in three. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> now we've gained the system. All right. Now that we have the strategy set, sort of implicitly, just 
through strategy and mind games. Yeah. We can, in theory, do it with any number. So we're going to do one, two, three, then any number. But wow. knowing what we've learned in the micro versions of the game. Okay, okay. ready? Yeah. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> so for so you, the strategy was, Jake. yeah. But for you, no. it was establishing eight. I think, you got well, off I think on you being could always the leader get there of the game. I think you could always get there in three because, like, you you go one. T- if you had said eight, I would have Actually, we could all get there in two because we should all follow you that could be the strategy well That's I, thought a solid it, strategy, I thought the strategy was if there's two of us that said something the next time the person who didn't say it said it because we both said eight and yeah then i thought you were going to join us at eight but, but then, then yeah. i joined them at two yeah. i felt like amir was going to join me at two because we made eyes and then i once we both said two i would feel like you would feel the tide shifting I, and meet us at two in my head if i was like don't say two because then they're gonna both be eight. Yeah. yeah yeah the closest you got was saying three which is like <laughs> the most you were willing to accommodate us yeah all also right, but, we just Miss Thanksgiving. Oh shit! No shit! <laughs> Canadian Thanksgiving, so that's fine. But still. Uh, all right. Now that we're here, now that we're warmed up, now that we're about seven minutes deep, we can finally start the show. This is if I were you, an advice podcast, the bonus Patreon Thursday edition. It's a video. It's an audio. It's ad free. Unless you want something, just go for a, a sponsor right now. Yo, yeah, your house. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah>, Ben. <babe>. Whoa. <laughs> a co-working space for the road slash ages and your boys. The newest member <laughs> slash road scholar, <laughs> which I am not, but I aspire to <laughs> to be, be or or not to two. be <laughs> two one two three Eight. B. Uh, all right, here's the question. It's coming from a dude's. Let's give him a dude's name. Jeffrey, what do you got? Tracer. <laughs> <laughs> Last name Gond. <laughs> Tracer Gond. I am Tracer Gond. Tracer gone is gone. You should have Anthony on the podcast. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. Hey, guys, I'm Anthony. Oh, I hate when you do an Anthony impression. You'll never be Anthony. (laughs) Hey, guys, Tracer here. I have a slight problem, and I figured you two might be able to help me out. In December of 2016, my family and I went out of town, and we paid my best friend to watch our dog while we were gone. I thought I could trust him to come into my house and let my dog out. Uh, make sure she had water and feed her. Unfortunately, when I came home, nearly everything in my room and my basement was covered in plastic wrap. Now, I'll admit it was a pretty good prank because it took a while to unwrap everything, but it felt like I was taken advantage of. He let himself (laughs) and our other friends into my house to pull this prank. They were in my bedroom. It felt like a complete invasion of my trust, and I was extremely mad. Anyway, we're going out of town again. And my mom wants to hire my best friend to watch our dog again. Should I tell my mom that my friend shouldn't be allowed to watch the dog, or just let him do it, ag- <laughs> or just let him do it again and hope he learned his lesson? Thanks, guys. Well, listen, <laughs> keep up the great. Learned the lesson by work. pulling an awesome prank. That's right. That's the lesson he learned that he got away with the <laughs> yeah. prank and then still got the dog watching job. Do you think he, he learned would... no lesson? <laughs> He this is the absence of a lesson. Maybe he, he was, felt bad. He got it out of his system. Well, he was paid for the job, which was just a prank. That's right. Mm-hmm. And now he got a second job. So you get it. And an opportunity for another prank. And an opportunity attack. That's right. Um, would you let somebody who's pranked you before back into your life slash house? Have you ever been pranked as, as thus? Have you ever been the victim of one of those classic post-it notes everywhere, Plastic wrapped everything. Didn't we do? We pulled a prank on. Oh wait, was it Jeff Rubin at the old college humor office where we filled all of the water cups at, on his desk? Yeah. Or was it Josh? Josh. Busted tease, Josh. Maybe. Or was it? I don't know who we pulled that prank on, but we put all of the wa- like water. hundreds of cups of water, like on, filled to the brim, filled to the brim on so his that desk. He couldn't move it. Slash um, get rid of it quickly. We, did, we wrapped Ricky's desk in tinfoil one time. Yeah, and every item on his desk in tinfoil. I think one of the best ones that we did was on Kunal, where we, after he left, we disassembled his desk and then flipped it upside down and reassembled it and like installed his computer, all of his monitor. Basically, we just recreated his exact <laughs> desk, but it was upside down. Wow, I don't remember that at all. So to get it back, he had to like take everything apart. Wasn't there but something like he had to on the roof the or desk. something? Or am I making that up? Like a desk stapled or taped or something to the roof or a Ooh, chair on the a roof? A desk oh, taped to the roof? <laughs> there was a chair on the roof, I think. Yeah, or am I just thinking of a famous picture from 2003 maybe yeah they all run together the pranks we pulled and the ones we just posted about <laughs> they're, they're all my memories so they're all good 
Do you, you remember the time school? I played baseball in the World Series? Oh, no, I'm thinking of a different baseball highlight that I watched as a kid once. Just <laughs> yeah. assumed Jeffrey it seems to me. too mature to have uh, pulled pranks like that. What about um, you? Have you? No. Have you ever been the victim of a prank? Uh, well, prank or like surprise birthday? Surprise birthday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait. That's the, the biggest prank, prank of all. Joy. I, yeah. I don't like surprise Has parties. Anybody ever had a surprise party and gotten mad because they felt like they had been pranked? Yeah, Jeff sounds like he doesn't like surprise tricked. parties. So you walked in, they were like, surprise, and you were like, you tricked me. I've been duped. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I thought I was coming home to an empty house, and there's a full spread, <laughs> a cake that tastes fine, that's <laughs> that's nice. beer that I enjoy. Yes. Okay, that's when I too. thought I would just kind of be watching TV in my room. So isn't that <laughs> a party like a, with fine cake a and a beer that you surprise. like better? And your friends and a spread, you said? It was a peasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. I don't think I've been pranked. If I, <laughs> if I really You're think pranking about us by hiring Bunch you. Bunch of. <laughs> uh, so would you let him do it again? Or would you tell your mother, oh, mother, don't let him come in here again? I, I, would, tell, I, would, I would tell mommy. Or would you act like it's no big deal? Did Fine, she not see the basement? Maybe. Yeah, that's, I'm wondering why the mom doesn't care or the mom doesn't know. Maybe... They only saran wrapped his shit. They only messed up his stuff. Yeah. I mean, they will prank you again. Yeah. Oh, they, I have they a, will do that again. Here's a good prank story. I once, with a friend of mine, we slept over a friend's house. Then he left the next day for whatever reason, a doctor's appointment. So we moved all the furniture in the house one inch to the right or left or something like that. Not a prank. So it was a little off. And then the mom came home and blamed his little sister's friend because I guess she's like fucked up in some way <laughs> and ended up banning the sister's friend from the house. And you never like, That's clean. really messed up. You I moved can't... every piece of furniture an inch to the left? <laughs> That's and... right. Okay. And she noticed and blamed a little girl. But to us, we were 12-year-old boys. We thought we so had That was the ultimate <laughs> prank. Yeah, yeah. That a girl had gotten blamed. And Two pranks for the, the price of fun, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the smallest prank. <laughs> what other pranks have you done? Pranks are just, they're all mean. I it's, slashed it's like a, singling I someone out to have a bad tire, time when yeah. everybody else has a good time. What yeah. kind of way? Like Slashing a, a tire is a crime. Or... Mm. Did you say you slashed a tire? No, I said I moved a chair. No, that, you, said you said a slashed, slashed a bus that's tire. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's school like, bus or? Yes. More that's illegal. destruction of. <laughs> Property is endangering children. That's true. It was while they were on the freeway. Right. Yeah, don't say that's true. Because <laughs> you know like, it's true. You're like Anthony Hopkins <laughs> in Speed. That's, that's not true. a prank. That you're was like, like he put a bomb on a bus. Yeah. And he oh, that's stole, really he stole good. money from a so bank. So there's a bomb on a bus. That's Work not a it. prank. These are crimes. Yeah. Mm. These are atrocities. What's the difference? Committed against Keanu Reeves <laughs> and Sandra Bullock. <laughs> in a documentary about the movie Speed. Is so would Anthony you let this guy dead? in your house? What? Is Anthony Hopkins dead, ass? Come on, man. He's not he, in speed. He's not in speed. He's in shaft. No. Oh, Who's wait. It's, it's Dennis, oh, Dennis Hop Hopkins. Dennis Hopkins is dead. Dennis Hopkins is dead. <laughs> Who's Anthony Hopkins? Anthony Hopkins is Hannibal Lecter. And he's hey. very much so alive. He yes. was really good yes. in shaft. Anthony Dennis Hopkins Hop is great, too. <laughs> no, it's Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper is great, too. My Dennis girl... Hopkins is a guy that I grew up with. Dennis Haskins is Mr. Belding. Is that who you're thinking of? That's I think he that... was the bad guy in Speed. I'm right. thinking of Andrew Rannells. That's what it is. <laughs> Who's the one with the amazing voice and great hair? Um, Dennis Hopkins. Hopper. Mario Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's boss dated Mark Hoppus in the 90s. And awesome. one of, like I forget which Blink song it is, but it's written about her. Whoa. Duh. Yeah. Not Josie. Yeah. No. I think it is. Call her now. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> this is insane. What does Josie do now? She works at a label. Why am I sitting that here sounds... talking to you when I know the real Josie now? You're you don't. meaningless. You I didn't hop this on our podcast. No. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he have a podcast? If Josie asks, I feel like he'd have to. I could interview yeah. Hoppus about Josie all day. Okay, what would you ask? First question. What happened? There? What happened when? I would say, Mark, let me ask you about Josie. Okay. And he would he'd like get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, he'd but he'd like of, he'd have to settle straight. in because we're here. Yeah. And I'd say, what happened there? And I would say it kind of like that cool and cool. What happened there? That's cool. Because and that sort of like would allow him to be like, oh, this is a safe space. Jake actually wants to know. And then he'd tell me. And yeah. then I don't know what would happen from there, <laughs> but something he would say would make me curious about another thing. <laughs> yeah, we know how interviews work. <laughs> and I work. would be like, yeah, you'd ask, ask a follow up question. 
I'd also employ, no. That's I, enough. I, I, would you already tactic, I would employ a tactic wherein I wouldn't <laughs> yeah. respond. Like he would say something that uh-huh. he would feel like is it's the end of a story. Like sure. he would. I would say what happened there, and he would be like, "We went our separate ways." Yeah. And then you'd think that I would like smooth it over, be like, "Okay, well, let's talk about damage," which is what you should right. do. No, but I would just. You would stare. That's bad. And then he sort of gets You'd uncomfortable make again, un- and he's yeah, like, "Uncomfortable." That's what um, I was gonna say. And then, and then he'd like tell me more about Josie. So right. that's a tactic that I would employ. You're using words like tactic and like making someone uncomfortable, shifting body language. You're <laughs> yeah. Like you, right. he doesn't want to be on the podcast if that's the case. Well, we haven't even asked him. You won't. I don't have his contact info. Of course, but we know some. But we know someone who knows his ex, Josie. So you want me, Josie? To- you're mine. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> source of most frustration. Um, what were we saying? It's me. My girlfriend, her boss, and her boss's ex. <laughs> That's four points of separation. And then on top of that, you're gonna he's you're gonna ask him to be on a podcast. I want to interview Travis too. <laughs> you want more? He was ignoring you. He wants more than Mark. I would like to talk to Travis. You I'd want like to talk a, to Tom? An, an acoustic Blink One Eighty Two reunion concert that of sorts awesome. for you. I would just want to sit here and request shit. So not a play voyeur not a conversation. Tom. Yes, you don't want to talk to them. Correct. You want to hear them play I for you. Can to... other people enjoy the music? It should really be for me. Can I, Can you invite a friend so that they can also? I'll it release the podcast your... that we record together wide. It you would been, have a wide release. You've been staying at the W. That's you've right. You've been sending me your room service bills. You want to be tended to like a queen. <laughs> Why? Nice. W. Yeah. yeah. Would you let this guy back into your house? I forgot that this was even a question. I forgot that we had asked a question. Don't yeah. let him back. No. Yeah, don't let him Don't let him back in. All right. Just ask That's a different uh, friend. Yeah. That'll show Fool him. me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Although, is it, is it really shaming if he's just going to dog sit? So it's like, you're not allowed to do me this favor anymore. You lost that opportunity, bucko. Or yeah. is it like more of a punishment to be like, I mean, you right, get paid for dog sitting, and it's not that out. hard. You fill a fucking container with some food, you kick the dog, and then no. you're like, Wait, what, what was, was that second, second part? part? I say, you fill the container yeah, with food. No, you guys remember the first one. Water, yep. too. So food and water. Yep. Food and water, good. Kick the dog on your way Don't out. Don't do that. Say Don't like, <laughs> Don't get in line, fucker. And then you let the dog out. You let the dog out. You let the dog out. doggy door. Urinate. You, you, have the dog you have to pick up the poop. Walk the dog, kick the dog. Don't kick don't the, dog, the dog. dog. And then you pet Walk it behind its ears just yep. so it feels like it's worth a damn. Maybe pet the dog. Pet the dog is good. No, yeah. Petting the, the dog, dog is pet great. The dog, pet the dog, feed yep. the dog, water feed the, the dog. dog water. Walk the dog, kick the dog. And don't call it out. watering the dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a plan. You have to water the dog. You don't have to water the dog. You have to water put water on a dog and then kick it. Yeah. Don't kick it. You spray the dog. No. If it's been bad. Uh-uh. What is... The dog isn't being bad. You're bad. <laughs> it should spray. If the dog barks you. at you when you come in, because it's like because it's used to you kicking it. Yeah, yeah. That's when you spray it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to prank this guy. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Sometimes in life, we're faced with tough choices, tough decisions. You, you. It results in sleepless nights. You're anxious. You're maybe excessively worried, scared, sad, depressed about something that's going on in your life. There's no better way to deal with those things than by speaking to a professional licensed therapist. Therapy has been very beneficial, not just for me, but for millions of people worldwide. And BetterHelp is the best way to try therapy. If you're thinking about starting, you should give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suitable to your schedule, and it's also very, very affordable. And now it's easier than ever to find a therapist with BetterHelp because you just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist right away, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. My God. Uh, So let therapy be your map to a happier, healthier life. Just go to betterhelp.com slash if I were you to get 10% off your first month. So today, if you go to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash if I were you, you fill out the brief questionnaire, they'll match you with a therapist right away, and you'll get to talking to somebody who can help you navigate through this stressful, uncertain time that we all find ourselves in. Um, yeah, check them out, BetterHelp dot com slash if I were you. Thanks, BetterHelp. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode of our show. Oh man, one of our day ones. We love Squarespace over here. We use Squarespace to design beautiful looking websites using drag and drop technology. And you don't even know how to, like you don't need to know how to code or how to design. Squarespace takes care of all that stuff. People have been using it for years and years. 
Their product has gotten better and better. They have custom merch, online store capability, flexible website templates, 24-7 award-winning customer support. Anything you need to make your website, they got it. You can even purchase a domain name through Squarespace, which is really, really cool. I bet you can buy something like cust- uh, a really, really custom merch.com. That's an example of something you could buy, probably. Um, so if you're looking to buy really, really custom merch.com or maybe your name.com or you want to give a gift with somebody else's name, uh, you could do it all through Squarespace. You just got to go to uh, squarespace.com slash if I were you to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code if I were you. Uh, their prices are already low and you can make them even lower. Just go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash if I were you to save, save, save 10% off that purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Uh, bonus content. This guy wrote a Jeffrey the Dumbass script because he's such a huge Whoa. fan of the videos. And we're I thought we could read we're it. read it? Let's read it together. This is a cold reading of Jeffrey the Dumbass Tinder. We've gotten a lot of these, okay. and like, this guy's the lucky winner. Yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for other people who have sent in. So. That's okay. This, this, guy, guy, is, have a, this yeah. guy had a question in addition to the the reading. So. I try not to read any of them that I'm sent because I don't want to act like even subconsciously take lines from it. Oh, I see. And then some of them are good. Them. Yeah. yeah. All right. So this one but is called sure Jeffrey the Dumbass Tinder. If you did take a line, I'd give him writing credit. Uh, right. Let's start off. Interior day headgum conference room. Jake and Amir are seated at a conference table during a conference call with their accountant. The accountant says, after looking over the numbers, I can honestly say in the 30 years I've been doing this, I've never seen anything like it. You're on the path to complete and utter bankruptcy. I recommend immediate, li- immediate liquidation of all your assets. Jeffrey climbs from under the conference table and hangs up the conference call. <laughs> what are you doing, Jeff? Like right now? Yes, <laughs> Jeff. That was a very important business call. Why did you do that? Bored. Uh, we, where have you been, by the way? The last time we saw you was two weeks ago. You showed up to the office at 4.45 with your suitcase, a camelback water bottle full of nail polish remover, and a plane ticket to Vancouver shouting about how you are going to explore Down, down Under. under. Yeah. You took a swig of the nail polish remover, then ran out of the office and hopped onto the back of a moving trash truck. What have you been doing the last 14 days? Been working on my Thrinder profile. <laughs> uh, love your guys' advice. Do you mind? Of course we mind. We need to call our accountant back. He's, We're ruined. And you're sitting down. This is unwelcome. First thoughts, reactions, notes, all positive would be good for me. <laughs> uh, right off the bat, you're not even in the first profile on your per, mm. first picture on your profile. It appears to be uh, a plate of vegetable fried rice with sriracha sauce. You thought this was a good idea for attracting potential women online? Exactly right. <laughs> Jesus. Take the phone and swipe to the next picture. Eh. I guess this one's a little better. I, at least you're in the picture, but why did you think this picture of you in a bathrobe holding a copy of the movie Taken 3 would be a good addition to your Tinder profile? It's obviously the worst of the Taken trilogy. I'm in a bathrobe. Yes. Yeah, I don't. You saw that part. You're still, <laughs> yeah. You still have notes? It How, shows my quirky side. How the hell does this picture... You know what? Never mind. We haven't even addressed your Tinder bio. Let me read it verbatim. My name is Jeff. I'm a 72-year-old billionaire looking for a sad time. (laughs) I enjoy long walks on a peach and and wearing jorts in my spare time. Swipe left if you're under eight feet. How can someone be so irredeemably stupid? I appreciate it. This is all good for me to hear. No. But why don't you tell me what you really think? What do you think we've been doing the whole time? We're telling you what we think. You're a dumbass. Why are you angry? Because I called you a dumbass? What have I done to deserve this this attack? All right? Look at all my matches. I can't even count. There's so many of them. There's five. Can you not (laughs) really count to five? Maybe, but maybe bot. (laughs) Yeah, speaking of bots, four of these matches are obviously fake accounts you set up to trick yourself into paying money on cam sites. It looks like you've fallen for it four times, too. Jesus, how much money did you lose? Worth every penny to go to the one actual date I managed to set up through the bish. Where did you take her? Well, it started like every date I've ever been on. 45-minute shower, crying the whole time. Sad. Then I picked her up at her place, right? Yeah. Guess what kind of car I drive? (laughs) This is not in the script. Saturn. (laughs) 
And I picked her up at her place. We went out to grab a bite to eat. Or should I say a bite of meat. We went to a vegan restaurant. So it's not a bite of meat. Long story jorts, I ended up getting lucky. Pepper spray and all. What does that even mean? (laughs) Knock on the door, a woman enters. Hi, I'm supposed to meet Jeff from Tinder at this address. Is he here? All right, sweetheart. Let's skip all the bullshit and get straight to the good shit. (laughs) Jeff takes out out a spray bottle and sprays himself. That's good. Cutting back and forth, <laughs> screaming, and <laughs> all right, thoughts? Good. Um, I'm glad that he ended with the with establishing that Jeff sprays himself with pepper spray. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a predator. In that, yeah, in that moment, I was like, Jesus, what, <laughs> what are we reading right, right now? But no, Jeff, I like that he goes on a date, sprays himself with mates, <laughs> and then runs away. And that's getting lucky. Yeah. I, I, I love the, the bio made me laugh. Like, oh yeah, I'm a 72 year old billionaire looking for a sad time. Long walks <laughs> on the peach is pretty good. <laughs> that is really good. Uh, all right, let's get to one more question before we have to get the hell out of here. All right, uh, this one is from another dude, Jeffrey. A name, um, Gordon. <laughs> Any last name? Air. <laughs> Air Gordon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, I He's sent Gordon Air. I sent you both a Snapchat and an email to Marty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> my my brother and I. My brother and I, I had an imagine idea. a less effective way to communicate with Headcom. <laughs> my brother and I had an idea for a podcast. It would be about our deranged, perverted Nana who makes way too many cookies, resents her grandchildren, and is borderline schizophrenic, all in a gentle, loving way. <laughs> Each episode starts with her making some random screech sound and or swearing at the neighborhood pigeon boys, what? eating the lasagna she left in the yard. Picture Christmas dinner. Nana is <laughs> Nana's prancing around in a towel that's way too small, completely unaware that it's 6.30 and we were all already eating. She <laughs> sings a perverted parody of a Disney song. The whole table turns to look at her, and I say, Nana, it's Christmas. Please put something on. And she says, how about this, motherfucker? There's another fan and, script. <laughs> and flashes the table. Do you have any advice, or could you ask your audience what they think about this podcast and whether it has potential. Sounds like a web series more yeah. than a podcast. Yeah. It it's like it's a sketch. Yeah, but it's a reoccurring character. If Nana does a podcast, I don't think you can you can't box Nana in. You yeah. know, like she's gotta come up with her own show. What does she want it to be? A weekly racist diatribe? What is the Nana show? So you sit down with Nana and you say, what do you want to get off your chest? Did you bring this up because we're trying to convince Jeff to start a podcast and he won't do it? So this is one of our pitches to you, the Nana cast. Can you beat it? Would you co-host this podcast? Where is this guy from? He is from Iceland, northern Iceland. In the Arctic Circle, so he we could maybe ask him to come here, or you could record spend remotely a winter. In, well, I was gonna say Jeffrey could spend a winter in Accurary. Yeah, so or what Guernsey. Are you this so you'd, Guernsey. You'd, yeah. <laughs> so you would you would fly to Guernsey first thing tomorrow. You're already wearing the sweater for it. Is that Icelandic lamb? Nice. It, it, it's not an Icelandic lamb's wool. Okay. <laughs> Bless oh my you. God, it Why? is because he's allergic. <laughs> Jake is allergic to Icelandic lamb. Oh, I didn't realize. As soon as he touched it, he sort yeah. of. His throat started God, that was violent. Yeah. But bless wow. you, by the way. Thank you. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. Uh, Jen Carlo, does he, does, does he do this in... <laughs> this is just because of me? Yeah. I didn't sneeze once. He's I'm, never sneezed John on Carlos, camera. John Carlo has been filming me for the better part of a decade. Have you ever seen me sneeze? No. So just on my episode, though. I guess the so. First time. There's some sort of allergy or something. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Nana cast. <Yeah>. What? <laughs> this? What's the advice? Start it or not? Not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Yeah. No. Riley and I want to start a podcast, but I uh, have to graduate first. And then once you graduate, maybe it can be about that, which is in f- thirteen days. So by the time this comes out, thirteen days. How many tickets do you get to that? That shit. I'd love to see I you walk. I don't want to invite you guys. Yeah, I you think can come I to the party. I uh, no. No, I not a party. I really want to be at the ceremony of it. What? Oh, you know it would be cool cuz everybody does like a thing on the back of their hats. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like know? a hat. Jeffrey's would be headgum. Oh, with, that's like, fun. The, so it would be the, the headgum logo, whether it be the logo or the name. And, and then, then like on the robe it says like download and subscribe. <laughs> that's cool. It's like all of our podcast. And you podcasts. take it off and you're wearing a <laughs> What's wrong? You take it off yeah. and you're wearing a headgum. 
<laughs> and this is all when he's like, he goes to like shake the diploma. Oh, and then he so, dabs, dabs on him. Right, so he dabs, hand, he dabs, dabs shakes on the shake the hand. diploma. He goes to shake the hand, <laughs> shake the hands for the diploma, not shake the diploma. I didn't say that. You did. No, I didn't. We'll play it. Back. Rewind the tape. <laughs> Rewind the tape, everybody. You know I didn't say that. At Jeffrey, if I did not Don't say that. Me. At him. <laughs> So you go to shake the diploma. <laughs> dab on him. You dab on him. You dab on him. Drop and then, the diploma. And then, yeah. and then, your, then your dean is obviously, he's taken aback for a moment. That's but then cool. he sees you and he's like, yeah, come on. <laughs> he does the Fonzie. <laughs> yeah, he hugs you. Could you and then you sees then you, Yeah, can you take your arms and just go like this for a second? Right, <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> oh! My nuts! <laughs> Amir, I would gladly have you at the ceremony. Jake, you're fired. <laughs> this is crazy. You're an editorial assistant. I'm the goddamn co-founder. I could fire you. Yeah, but it has to be unanimous. Yeah, between me and Jeff and Marty and I have already spoken at length about it. I feel like I can at least object. You can. I can object. You I have strenuously to all... well, object. We heard that, and we also have to take your computer and leave. Um do you need is. my phone? <laughs> Go on, take the laptop and run. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, we don't have any ideas for the podcast. But Maybe we could do something one. graduation, recently graduate, new person in the world, hardly employable, unemployable, very employable. Fun employable. That's Fun employable. Good. That's a good name for a show. Yeah. Fun invited. That's nice. <laughs> and it's all about how we don't get invited to shit. That's fun or... In general. What? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what about Jeffrey the dumb cast? I think we want to do it where it's more just us. Oh, and less in character. Yeah. So you think you're not dumb. Hmm? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ask me any question about the world, something I should know, and I'll know it, and I'll tell you. What's the capital of California? Capital of California, capital C. <laughs> what? Uh, the C is the capital, capital in California. Like the C? Like the, le- the, the letter. It means like you have to capitalize, the C, C, capitalize C, C at the beginning of the yeah. word. So, so you the find C, oh, these the little C. loopholes. Yeah, in oh, California. that actually is really smart. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> the C is capital in California. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. I actually really like that. What are the three? In fact, I'm hired. <laughs> this is you in a job interview. <laughs> um, I work Yeah, well, we'll be in touch. Yeah. We will be in touch. Let's just role play a job interview with you right now. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, Mr. Herwitz, thank you for so much for coming in. We're really excited about the prospect. Open of... your eyes. You're nervous. Not and you're nervous. staring forward. I'm fucking dead serious about getting this job, sir. Okay. <laughs> um, if I had to fill this room up with pens, how many pens would it take? It would only take one. No. That's yeah. the worst. I, I mean apologize for my colleague. And I'll get the asking... job done. What? Your honor. I'm not I will judge. fill the room with one pen because I'll write on all the walls and I'll write a love letter to this company. Because I want to work here, I need to work here, and frankly, I already do work here. Now, where's my goddamn desk, Hoss? How far is the sun from here? A million billion miles, <laughs> fucker. A million billion? Yeah. Fucker, you just <laughs> swore at me. Get the hell I out of my I love this op. guy. What? This You're guy is him? bringing what the team has needed for the better part of a year. A large pen <laughs> and an attitude that won't quit. And he swears for fun. Uh, <laughs> We're out of time. I don't <laughs> of know what to say. Do we answer one question? We answered one. The 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 dog, the saran wrap. And we read a script. And the nanocast, which is a no. Uh, yeah. yeah. And it's a it's hard a no pass. from me. Horace. A hard pass on the nanocast. Jeffrey, thank you for coming I'm by. I want to talk to Nana. Yep. I just don't want to talk to her reps anymore. Do you want <laughs> Do you want to promote anything like your future podcast or something? Um Jeffrey the dumbass off days, obviously. Obvious. Lonely and horny season 2. Naturally. Um Naturally. Riley and I's podcast soon to be. Soon to be named. Soon to be existing. Uh, and uh, I'm don't play no James on Twitter. I am Jeffrey James on Instagram. Uh-huh. And Riley and I are beginning to write a web series. Okay. That we are going to produce. Sure. Whoa. In the spring. Is this... You guys have two roles. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in your face? As in you're paying us with bread? <laughs> Tommy it's like It's going to be SAG New Media. It's gonna be what? SAG New Media, AFTRA New Media. <laughs> Don't talk about unions when you look like Roll that. Roll the credits. Roll the credits. It's, it's over. Over. It's, it's over. disappearing. Ah! If I were you. was 
a HeadGum Original.